week's Wind in the Willows. Our grand annual show. Oh, splendid. The local county fair brings out the best in some and the worst in others. Soon the world will be knocking at my door. Good heavens, already. But the judging finds Toad guilty of greed, conceit, stupidity. I say, say it all better. The wind in the willows. <laughs> On the next Edison Twin, Paul's new pet is tons of fun. But you can't keep him. He must belong to someone. Who do you know around here that owns an elephant? This pachyderm's packing a trunk full of trouble. You're the kid who stole my elephant, are you? The Edison Twins. A teenager and her aunt arrive at the Moon Spinner's Hotel on the Greek island of Crete to begin a quiet vacation. I understand when the moon is full, you're supposed to be able to see the treasure at the bottom of the bay. Instead, they find themselves in the middle of a mystery about stolen jewels. A thousand years of passion, pride, and blood crystallized into this perfect star. My niece may be lost, kidnapped, anything. I want to know where that girl is. And I want to know now. Search. Find them. This time when you shoot, shoot the kill. Please help me. Please. The moon spinners must be working full time tonight. Haley Mills stars in one of her most adventurous roles. It's Walt Disney's exciting suspense mystery, The Moon Spinners. Exclusively on the Disney Channel. <laughs> a boy named Harold. Harold lived in a building where everyone had a pet. Even Harold. Harold had a pet seed. Harold's pet was quiet. And I don't have to clean up after it either, Harold said proudly. Often Harold and his pet seed watched television together. And every Sunday, Harold would take his seed for a walk. And when Harold said, Stay. Stay. The seed always stayed. Harold wasn't expecting anyone. Well, here we are. I mean, don't trip on the... Wait a minute, guys. Harold, you're not making the most of your pet. And Harold said, I'm not? Uh, no, 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 you're no way not. not. Did you know your pet can do amazing things, like make food for itself and for you? Harold said, oh. But first, you have to get your seed to grow. And Harold thought, no, 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 the seed grows into a plant. Inside this seed is a tiny plant called an embryo. I remember when I was a seed. Those were the days. Look, there's the embryo. Isn't that great? Beautiful. But Harold couldn't see. I can't see anything. Sure you can. And Harold disappeared right inside his seed. Wow. And, and what's this stuff? Food. Food? Harold wondered. Right again. It's stored there by the mother plant to feed the seed until it can grow its own food. That's the seed coat. coat. I said it first. Terrific. That's the hard covering that protects the little plant embryo inside the seed. And Harold said, it's hard, all right. Now, how do I get it open? Patience, Harold. The seed coat only opens when water touches the seed and the plant grows. In order to grow and keep on growing, seeds have to be placed where they get food called nutrients, like in the soil. And seeds need warmth. And do you know what else they need? Uh, uh, water? water? Exactly. Harold wondered, 
How long does it take for the plant to start to grow? Oh, from a few days to a few weeks. Uh, I, I do have to clean up my room, and, and Saturday I was going to... Okay, okay, then we'll speed things up. Boy, Harold said, that plant pushed hard. Whoa! Ah, that's the part that pushes out through the seed coat first, the roots. Yes, yeah, the, the roots dig down into the soil to hold the plant in place. That's what they do. Very nice. I like the way you say it. And to keep it from being blown away by the wind. I like the first on one. one. Just then, Harold heard a noise. The roots are taking water and nutrients from the soil. That's so the plant can grow strong and tall. You know, Harold, soon another part of the new plant comes out from the top of the seed. Uh-oh. There it goes. Gosh, my pet's getting more exciting all the time. Oh, but it'll get even more exciting. 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 Your plant will grow even more, but first, it needs food. And Harold said, will this do? <gasps> no. Green plants make their own food. Really? really? Oh, oh, I, I didn't know, know that. that. Huh? Remember how the roots took in water and nutrients found in the soil? And Harold remembered. From the roots, the water and nutrients move into the chute where they travel through small tubes right into the leaves. So the food making called photosynthesis takes place in the leaves. Photosynthesis. Right. During photosynthesis, the plant takes in a gas called carbon dioxide out of the air and through its leaves. What does carbon dioxide look like? asked Harold. Well, we can't see or smell it, but here, let's pretend. Let's say these bubbles are the carbon dioxide. Look, exclaimed Harold. The plant's taking in the carbon dioxide right through tiny holes in its leaves. Yes, and in the leaves, there's a chemical called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is what makes plants like me green. A very attractive shade of green. Oh, thank you. I'm really happy to be green. The chlorophyll traps the carbon dioxide and mixes it with the water and nutrients brought up from the soil through the shoot. But to make food, the chlorophyll also needs energy from the sun. If the plant is in the sun, it keeps making food all the time. Do green plants make all the food they need? Actually, they make more than they need. Want to know where they store the extra food? Of, of course. course. Where? Where? Different plants store food in their different parts, like in the roots. Some of the plants you eat are roots. For example, carrots, radishes, and beets are all roots. A puzzled Harold asked, what about flowers? Are they there just to make the plant look pretty? No, no, not at all. No, no The flower is the part of the plant that makes seeds. That swollen part at the base of the flower is called the ovary. The seeds grow inside the ovary. Then the ovary becomes a fruit. As it changes, it gets bigger and, and bigger, bigger and, and bigger, bigger until it grows up. up. No, till it turns into a fruit. As the fruit grows, the flower dries up and falls off. Uh, Harold, what kinds of fruit do you like? And Harold named um, apples, uh, strawberries, uh, peaches, and, and oranges. And those all have seeds. Uh, I have seeds, too. I'm a fruit. You and me both. The seeds inside of fruits are ready to grow into new plants. Um, unless we eat them first, mumbled Harold. But the seeds we don't eat, how do they get around to places where they can grow? Of course, seeds used to grow food crops are planted by people, but seeds get around lots of other ways, too. Birds take them back to their nests, but they, they drop some. The wind also carries seeds to new places. Even animals carry seeds, so they don't know it. Wow, my pet seed can do lots of things the neighbor's pets can't do. And Harold told his seed, who is now a plant, you really are important. Me? Us? Sure, Harold answered. Because everything we eat comes from plants, or animals that eat plants. No living thing could survive without you. Oh, sure. Nothing, really. I mean, it is well, it's something. It's something. It's something. Enjoy your plants, Harold. You think about this. Oh, that's a bad one. Now Harold has lots of pets. And he loves them. 
he wouldn't trade them for... Funny, Harold wasn't expecting anyone. And Harold said, uh-uh. No, Harold wouldn't trade any other pet in the world for one of his amazing seeds.